Hello, adventurers! Disney Dream Maritime Cruise starts now. All right, we are so excited to take you along on this five night maritime cruise. Been a long time since we have done a maritime cruise, pre-COVID actually. And of course, this is the Disney Dream, which actually first time ever out of Port Everglades here in Fort Lauderdale, which is pretty cool. But not just that, this is really exciting for us. Now, any Disney cruise is exciting for us. However, we get to share this with some good friends from Louisiana. It's their first time cruising ever, let alone a Disney cruise. We've ruined them forever. And uh, well, we're just gonna have fun because hey, it's a Disney cruise. So let's get on board and let's go do it. And let's show you a little bit here of the, of, uh, the dream here at Terminal 4. Now they've revamped this terminal, so we're kind of excited to show that. They kind of made it all Disney-ish, maybe not like quite like Port Canaveral, but we'll now, see. Also what's new to this cruise is the uh, Magic Bands. We're gonna try, didn't have such a good time, uh, or good go with it the first time that we were on the um, Magic, I believe. Sorry, well, first time going on Wish. Two of us worked, two of us didn't. So we're gonna try it again, but hey, you know what? You always got the key to the you world. started this sailing, and this is the first maritime cruise for the Disney Dream. So that's gonna be cool too. Tree lighting, I don't know what else we're gonna do. Gingerbread, who knows? We'll just see what we get into for this five nights. All right. Level one, terminal four. All right, here's a little bit of the new terminal here for Disney at Port Everglades. We'll show you a little bit of the Mickey. Not as big as the Port uh, Canaveral, but they're still pretty big. might be the uh, concierge lounge up there, I'm kind of thinking, maybe. How excited we are for number 24. Very excited, we're with friends. More exciting. All right, it's pretty special. Family of the day, first boarding ever out of Fort, Port Everglades. I'll get it right. are boarded <laughs> but there's still time on the turtle it's their first time right so this is cut chaos, them some slack. though it it's is chaos. it is pretty chaos but you know what what they're trying to do that's different from port canaveral is that they're trying to keep each group in a section so they're roping off like 12 we were in the 12 12 15 then the 12 30 then one so they're trying to make some orderly fashion i think because they know the people checking in it's their first time so i, I think that's the rationale you know so yeah, so first time, and I think, you know, look, it's gonna be okay. Well, our friends, because they're first time Yeah, cruisers, so we're not on, yeah. Got um, like a 115 port 15, arrival yeah. time. We're past that now. They're not even at security yet. So but all, all groups are boarding. Are, so. Things are going a little bit slow. But I think they're doing, a, they're doing a good job. These are new people, clearly are new people. And you know, they'll, they'll get it down because this is clearly Disney invested. They're gonna be here. Wow. Right. All right, finally. All right, we got the Mickey ears here at Port Everglades. All right, we're going to Bone Wells, the ship. Disney Dream. Oh, never gets old, never gets old. Disney Dream, please welcome aboard the Coleman family. <laughs> Hello adventurers, I did want to explain a little bit of the transition here. So if you've watched our prior uh, embarkation day videos, uh, you notice that we initially kind of prefer to do the sit down uh, option for the first meal on the ship. 
Um, usually on the Dream or the Fantasy, it is animator's palette, but it, it may vary uh, depending on uh, what they have also in store. So because we got a late boarding, however, they did not push back the uh, sit-down dining at Animator's Palette, which was a little frustrating because there clearly was problems. So this wasn't, so oh, hey, we just got a late boarding time. No, we had adequate time if our, us and our friends from Louisiana would have gotten on at uh, the scheduled boarding time, we would have had plenty of time to sit down. So I, we kind of felt like, hey, Disney should have maybe pushed that back by an hour or so. However, we're gonna show you a little bit of the buffet at uh, Cabana's, and because uh, that's always an option, is the buffet as well, even Marceline Market on the OWISH. So that's what's up next is the Cabana's um, lunch buffet. So back out to the ship. Here we are for the Sail Away Party! I said, hello Disney Dream! Fabulous food! That's right, Andrew. Well, I think it's time that we kick the big itinerary. It's Vinny Mo!
want to know about how many people are still not on the ship. Half crews. Still not on the ship. Fort Lauderdale. All right, so from Sailway Party, a little deck sun sunset video to one of our favorites, the Golden Mickeys are tonight. And then we've got our first meal at Animator, our first meal at Royal Palace, almost at Animator's Palace. Royal Palace. So, some good stuff we like on the menu tonight. So, let's go do it. All right, this is just gonna be a time check here. 5.52, we're still in port. There's still a ton of luggage out there. Don't think there's any passengers on port side, but they're still loading. So, we may be spending the night in Fort Lauderdale on the Disney with Dream. All right, so in the Walt Disney Theater, the Golden Mickeys are tonight. So I'll show you a little bit of the uh, stage. This is about all we're gonna show. And then, well, we've seen it. We'll see what of our Louisiana friends think. Yep. The golden, the keys are. <laughs> all right, so we're here for the tree lighting ceremony. So they'll pick one family to basically count down and then they'll turn on the tree. Only do it one time. This is at uh, 7.30 on this cruise. So it gets packed. Looks like deck five might be available, but in order to see, we're down here on deck three.
tell you how crazy this is. 24 cruises never left the port at 7.52 at night. This is whacked out. Absolutely whacked out. Now luckily our first port of call is tomorrow at Castaway Key, so not a little far way to go, but this is crazy. <laughs> We've had some firsts, but this is the first. 7.53, and they haven't even thrown out the lines yet. You got some improvement to do, Disney. You got some improvement to do. menu for tonight at the Royal Palace. Let me give you some recommendations from this menu, which comes with mild spiced chicken inside. It's not very, very spicy, really nice. Second one will be the crisp. All right, here's our bread service. Now, I didn't catch the dip. Our dip, we'll just put the name in. All right, so this is the chicken bestia with a slaw underneath. Chicken bestia was pretty doggone good. And uh, let's see what Mama thinks. First time I've had that, I thought it was really delicious. I would get it again for sure. This is the mango papaya soup. So it's a chilled soup. We'll see how chilled it is. So in the tradition of the great soups, the mango papaya soup was awesome. Definitely would recommend it. All right, I'm gonna show my dearest. We both got the same thing. The chicken mesquite with I think potatoes are underneath. All right, my dearest, how was the chicken? That was a really good dish. I enjoyed the corn. Um, I forget what it was called. I thought the sweet potato was really good, and the chicken was flavored very well. Chicken, we've said it before, it's iffy on Disney Cruise Line. Sometimes it's a little bit dry, but mine was nice and moist and had really good flavor. So I would agree with my dearest. The chicken was spot on, which occasionally it's not, and the uh, Corn stuff in between was pretty doggone good too. So overall good meal here at Royal Palace. Now it's dessert time. And there's our dessert menu. And there's what we got. So I got the Kalua creme brulee. All right, and my dearest got the warm sticky fig and pond pudding. Looks good. All right, they're making fun of me because the Kahlua, because the Kahlua, if I can pronounce it, Kahlua creme brulee was absolutely out of this world, spectacular. And we'll see how Mama's big pudding went. How was yours, Mama? Uh, it was really good. I would say very sweet. I couldn't finish the whole thing. The vanilla ice cream definitely helped with that. So overall, I think it was a great meal. <laughs> Pretty Christmas tree. I haven't had a real chance to show the gingerbread house. This is so awesome, so gorgeous. How cool is that? We'll take some more looks at this. And how cute, our first animal, towel animal of the cruise. Is this, what is this, a seal? With glasses? Mm. Breezy, oh. Uh -huh. All right, it's so day one of our maritime cruise. Has been a first. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can wow. you say? I mean, never in our all of our history of cruising with Disney yeah. have we seen just so many things that just didn't seem to go right. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock when we set sail this evening. Thank goodness we're just headed to Castaway Key. Yes. Because I don't know where we can get anywhere else. Um, we hope everybody made it on board. 
um, because the check-in process, yeah. for whatever reason, was just painful. Well, like we kind painful of today in the um, in the terminal, we kind of said a little bit it was eh, very slow, and they were very going through things that they just. I think they were new and they just didn't need to go through. It's like, hey, you checked. You already did all that verification well, stuff. I, this I is just read, verification. I don't know how accurate, but I read that there were issues with the technology, too, at yeah. the terminal. But, like, I ordered um, stateroom gift. I ordered the wonderful Christmas, Christmas yeah. decor for our stateroom and noticed when we got in our room, it wasn't here. I called. They said, oh, the truck was running late. It would be here. And then I got a, a push notification um, during the show of yeah. all time saying, we're sorry, we couldn't yeah. deliver. So that's a little bit disappointing. Well, I, you know, I think that if this was probably our first cruise on Disney, I can be honest with you. I, I would, I hope somebody it really, better better somebody would day. really have to tell me yeah. that this is not the norm and it's because it's just a new terminal. Again, it's not like Disney's, you know, not cruised in what, 25 years. Um, they have. So, Really, I mean, someone needs to kind of sit down. We're we're traveling with brand new Disney cruisers, cruisers all together, and I gotta be honest, if this was our first experience, and I had to sit out there for two hours, stand in line for two hours, which is something as absurd we've never done, even on our very first cruise, I don't think I'd come back. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'd come back. So well, we're hoping we can change. Hopefully we can we, change that. But We can change things around. Disney needs to do some conversation with people because this was not the norm. Okay. So we kept telling our party. But that's, you know, some other person's on lo uh, being alone on this cruise it would never know any difference. Like, hey, two yeah. hours. Well, I would hope so, that anybody would understand. Like Anyway. Not not. Normal. Sail away party actually was good because of the glitch. Because there wasn't very many people there. So it was awesome. It was one of the fair. But we were um, sad looking yeah. around the deck and saying, gosh, yeah, you, you could clearly. Tell well, I showed you. I showed you. Yeah, that. So, you could tell. Um, and Mickey's um, uh, um, Golden Mickey's. I'll check it out. One of our faves. And our, and our, uh, our friends loved it, too. So you yeah. just can't go wrong with that. And had a good dinner at um, Royal Palace, too. So dessert, awesome. Kalula. Okay. So back to the technology thing. The app showed a completely different menu for dinner yeah, all day. Kind of and when we got to the restaurant, we were given handed menus that were totally were different. different. Yeah. And then the app matched the menus yeah. it was very strange and that i don't think we've ever encountered yeah, either i don't think so either. you forgot to talk about the tree lighting so, yeah the tree lighting that was special now we've not had i don't recall ever having characters they just did a did it am i just yeah, has it been I that remember, long maritime yeah it's okay. been a long time right. since we've done it so but i remember cool. them up on the uh, up on deck four so okay. it was different for them for us yeah. anyway for them to come down onto deck three so and, i and sing and and whatnot showed you a little bit of that um so oh you know hopefully we turn this around it'll be a great maritime cruise tomorrow is castaway like tomorrow castaway said. key so a little different too because usually castaway key is your last day of the cruise so this is our second day um, yeah. and then we got a couple of days of season and excited to out. get to share that with our friends so yeah so castaway key will be good hopefully good weather have some fun and uh, we're gonna bring you along as uh, always so that said please like subscribe hit that notification bell we're up for adventure and what do we always say onward to our next adventure bye for now bye well just when you thought the cruise couldn't get any stranger we heard a bright star that was called i don't know what time last night and then her and hear anything else. Again, our port of call should be first thing here on day one is Castaway Key. However, clearly this is not Castaway Key. Not sure whether we're back in Fort Lauderdale. I don't know. I don't not looking like it's Miami port, so but clearly this was a need to medically evacuate. So Hopefully the person is okay and nothing serious, but this does happen. So it never happened to us before, but this is, uh, it does happen on cruises where there is an evacuation. Um, sometimes there's an evacuation at sea. Sometimes there's an evacuation where they have to turn around and go to the nearest port. Sometimes it's in a different country. So uh, clearly we're, Somewhere. I don't know whether it's Miami, I just I can't see all around, but um, we're not going to Castaway Key Bay. <laughs> so, again, you know, this 
happens in the cruise, I mean, we had a late time getting off. Again, one of the first we've ever had where we actually departed to port at about eight o'clock at night. Um, and now back in port, um, looks like we might have three days at sea. So, but again, we hope really this person is okay and is fine and, you know, there's not gonna be any, not gonna be trouble for this person, so.